Hi, this is Rabbi Jeremy Lawrence from the Great Synagogue in Sydney. This week we read Parshat Miketz, which continues Joseph's meteoric rise from prisoner in Egypt through to Chancellor under Pharaoh. The Parsha begins with Joseph still in prison, two years after his successful interpretation of the dreams of the butler and the baker. Now it's Pharaoh's turn to have a troubling nocturnal vision of cows and of ears of corn. Unable to understand them for himself, Pharaoh calls upon his magicians and his wise men, and we're told that none of them were able to provide an adequate explanation for Pharaoh. If you think about it, the magicians were hardly likely to suggest that through their divination, they were able to come up with th things that Pharaoh, who was supposed to be a god, could understand. And the wise people were also far too wise. They wouldn't pretend that they were able to understand things which their leader couldn't fathom. And so it's left for the butler to remember Joseph, who is brought before Pharaoh. Immediately, Joseph disavows his role and says that it's God who is the originator and the interpreter of dreams. He listens to Pharaoh's account of the cows and the ears of corn and explains about the seven years and seven years of famine, saying that this is that which God wished to convey. Having dealt with the spiritual message, Joseph then approaches from the vantage point of wisdom. What Pharaoh should do, empowering Pharaoh and giving him responsibility for the management of his crisis, is to take on an individual of wisdom and discernment who will bring in the grain during the years of plenty and be responsible for resourcing Egypt in the years of famine which will follow. Pharaoh embraces this interpretation and turns to his magicians and his wise men and acknowledges that surely in Joseph is a man with the Spirit of God. And then he turns to Joseph and says, surely your godliness has imbued you with wisdom. And from here we understand, perhaps, some of the secret of the survival of the Jewish people, particularly in the diaspora. The rock-solid confidence that the Torah is the foundation of our life, that our spirituality guides us and helps us navigate through everything that should happen. But at the same time, an acknowledgement of the wisdom, the need to throw ourselves into our lives, the ability to engage and to have interface with others to enable our own survival, to enable their survival and to enable the spirit of godliness and Torah to radiate through and to emanate into the world beyond. May we be blessed with Joseph's confidence to do that which is right, acknowledge God as our creator, and also, and at the same time, be blessed with the wisdom to know how to respond to the world around and share God's message. Wishing you all a Shabbat Shalom and a very happy end of Hanukkah.